Ambrose Holmes, the last elected official for Commission District 2, the northern portion of Henry County. After being redistricted out of my seat a year ago, I recently qualified to run in this year's special election. Before being redistricted out of my seat, we got a lot accomplished. Improving road infrastructure, bringing health care into the community, creating multi-use paths throughout the northern portion of the county. The Path Foundation trails that connect from Henry County into Rockdale and DeKalb County and we still have a whole host of funded projects on the table that have yet to be started and completed. I am running to finish the job. However, one thing must happen before all else can continue. And that is we must roll back the military. Over the last three years, the Henry County Board of Commissioners have increased the annual budget nearly $60 million dollars, creating an extreme burden on all taxpayers of the county. The millage rate has to be rolled back. If we have a budget of $230, $240 million, we should still be able to operate on that same budget the very next year. I support an increase in property values. However, I truly believe that the property values and the property assessment from the Henry County Board of Assessors are inflated. And I believe they're inflated five to 7% to provide an extra cushion so the county can collect increased taxes from our citizens. By law, that is a tax increase and the Henry County Board of Commissioners should look at rolling back the millage rate in order to ease that burden on all citizens of the county. Just like regular citizens have to manage their budget, I believe the Henry County government needs to manage its budget. We have to have strict development standards. All homes should be developed with brick, stone, or stucco. Before leaving office, I had a situation on Flippin' Road and Stockbridge with a subdivision that was supposed to be all brick. The name of the subdivision was Broder Farms. We put conditions in place where the exterior of all the homes in the subdivision were all brick, stone, and stucco. One day I was riding the by 75 and looked and saw a hardy plank on the exterior of the homes. And we made it a point to shut down construction until a decision was made to resume building with all brick. That is the mission. High quality construction, high quality exterior on each and every home that is built within this county. Road infrastructure remains to be an issue. In the northern portion of the county, we were able to complete the widening of West Village Parkway in Fairview Road, but we're not complete. Fairview Road from Home Depot to 155 is fully funded. I remember before leaving office, seeing the stakes and the surveyors out surveying the actual road. I also believe that more money needs to be spent on other roads in Henry County. We have significant warehouse development in our county. Citizens are being squeezed out of their community by thousands of semi-trucks on a daily basis. Henry County is committed to the warehouse industry. I worked hard to change the type of industries we were targeting for this county. While in office, I worked hard to shift the Henry County Development Authority's focus from warehousing to office-based employers. I failed. I failed. We needed more leaders to advocate for the same thing. Henry County is an open campus, and it's not too late at this particular point to make that shift to support the type of residents we have in this particular county. Public safety is also a focus. We will continue to fund public safety. We will continue to fund fire, our police, to keep our citizens safe. Henry County has one of the lowest crime rates in the region. However, 
if we don't make a shift in the type of industries that we invite into our communities, we will see those same people leave the county for other areas. The practice of the Henry County Board of Commissioners was to split SPLOS funding evenly across all districts. It was up to the commissioner and the community to determine where to spend the money. We were stewards of the funding we received in the old District 5, which is now District 2. We elected to invest in our infrastructure, in roads, in sewers, in street lights, in the medians, in beautifications, in parks, in police stations, in fire stations, in eight-foot multi-use trails. It was a tremendous investment for the citizens in North Henry County. Due to how we improved our community, we are being held to a standard higher than any other commissioner in Henry County, even though we share the same exact resources. That is the reason why North Henry County only received $12 million of the T-SPLOS funding, while the other districts split over $300 million between them. There has to be equity in the funding if you want voters to continue to support these taxes. When I was initially elected, I created the Commissioner Bruce Holmes Youth Foundation. And the purpose of that organization was to create an exposure program that would support kids in junior high school and high school and to expose them to things that, that they wouldn't ordinarily be exposed to. The beautiful part of the program is that we did not use taxpayers' funds. We did not use public money. All donations came from corporations or just plain people in our community. And from that funding, we were able to take kids on college tours, take kids to Washington, D.C. to see the White House. It was phenomenal and had a great impact on hundreds of kids who came through the program over the years. Kids from our programs have become doctors, teachers, superstars, law enforcement agents. They've become everything simply from being exposed to things that they weren't ordinarily exposed to. We created that program to keep kids from the street, to keep kids from a life of crime, and just to show kids another way. We look forward to supporting education in Henry County. We look forward to our continued support with the Henry County Board of Education and our local county schools. On November 7th, 2023, go to the polls and vote for Bruce B. Holmes as the new District 2 Commissioner for North Henry County.